Okay, in this problem, we're going to find the equation of a plane that goes to the point 3, 5, negative 1, containing the following line. And they give you the parametric equations right here. So let's take a look at a plane. I'm just going to get a general idea of what's going on. Um, so on the plane, we have the point 3, 5, negative 1. And then we have the line again represented by L, the parametric equations right up here. So the idea is that we can find the equation of a plane given three points. Well, I have one, I can take two that are on the line, and then I'll just call that one P, this one Q, and this one R. And now that I have three points, I can connect them to create two vectors that lie on this plane. And then with that, I can make a normal vector, and I can do that by doing the cross product between PQ and PR. So let's go ahead and find PQ and PR. First thing, I'm going to have to actually find the point for Q. Uh, and since I have parametric equations, I can just plug in T equals 0, and that will give me the point on the line when T is 0. So plugging in 0, you're going to get 4 negative 1 and 0. Do the f same thing to find r. We're now just going to plug in t equals 1 and that will give us the point 3, 1 and negative 3. Okay, so from here we can find pq. What we do is we subtract the components. So the x component we're going to have 4 minus 3 the y component will have negative 1 minus 5, and then the last component is going to be 0 minus negative 1. And then when you simplify that, you'll get 1, negative 6, and 1. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for PR. We're going to subtract the components. So we'll start with 3 minus 3 then do 1 minus 5, and then negative 3 minus negative 1. Simplify that, you'll get 0, negative 4, and negative 2. Okay, so from here we can find the normal vector, and to do that we're going to find the cross product between PQ and PR. Okay, so setting this up, it's going to be the determinant, and the first one is going to be the standard uh, basis vectors, i, j, k, and then the second one will be our pq, which is 1, negative 6, 1, and then pr for the last one, so 0, negative 4, negative 2. And then the formula to evaluate the determinant would be i, and then negative 6, 1, negative 4, negative 2. That's a 2 by 2 determinant, minus j, and then we're going to have 1, 1, 0, negative 2, plus k, and then 1, negative 6, 0, negative 4. And then don't forget that that j has to be negative. That's part of the formula. So we're going to have i times, and then we'll evaluate the 2 by 2. So that'll give me 12 plus 4 minus j, and then negative 2 minus 0, plus k, negative 4, oops, sorry, negative 4, minus 0. So if we simplify that, that will give me 16i plus 2j minus 4k. So this is our normal vector. And to find the equation of a plane, that's all we need. We need a normal vector and then a specific point on the plane. All right, so it's going to be 16. That's our x component on the normal vector, x minus, and then a specific x value, so 3, plus 2. And then we'll do y minus 5, and then minus 4, and then z minus 1. And then we have to set that equal to 0. 
So this is the equation of the plane. We're just going to simplify it a little bit, distribute out everything. So 16x plus 2y minus 4z. And then all the other numbers I'll bring to the other side when I distribute, and I'll get 62. And then this is it, but I notice that I can divide everything by 2. So 8x plus 1y minus 2z equals 31.